Hi, in this video, let's take a look at how to track health facility related data using Solstice. As a fresh user, you can come to Solstice, sign up and start using the platform for free, and then track any amount of health facilities and health facility related data relating to your work, whether it's project monitoring, ongoing work, anything at all. So we'll get started. First of all, Solstice is a general data management platform with a focus on SDGs and low resource regions. You can use it for many things, and this video's focus is healthcare facilities. It allows you to collect the data you need at any scale, analyze it, manage it, and then share it with whoever you want. You always own the data, but you can share it when you need to. In the video, we'll look at how you can map an individual facility and how Solstice makes it possible for you to map a place only once and then allows you to return to the same place and keep adding surveys to track progress and change over time. What you track can be ultimately completely up to you. You can decide what questions to ask, how many, and there's really no limit. Same for how many responses to a survey you might want. You can even scale up to a whole district, a region or a nation as we see here. So let's get started. If I'm a new user to the platform, I can go to solstice.world and click sign up. Let's um, create a dummy account called uh, Healthcare Facility Pro. Why not? And confirm that we are at least 13 years of age. We get a free account. There's no limit to the amount of accounts you have, but we do recommend that you have one account per user instead of sharing user accounts. Wonderful. Now we are logged in. How do we get started? Let's create a survey. We need to figure out what questions we want to ask. The very basic model of collecting data in Solstice is to create a survey and then deploy it to one or more users so that it appears in the Solstice app where you can then fill out that survey and get the data. So I'm going to go to surveys, click create a survey and call it uh, my healthcare facility survey. Then we have this mouse driven editor where we can start adding questions either from uh, an existing library of questions or just new ones. Let's add a few. Of course, we want to know the name of the health facility. And it's a text question. So that's what we're going to do. And we have a lot of other guidance on the nuances of how to design good surveys in Solstice. I'm just going to cover the basics here. Of course, we also want to know the location of the health facility. So I'll add a new question and here are the type Let's take a look at various options. We see a location question. That's a good choice. It allows you to pick the GPS location in the world, but I would still recommend that you use a site question because sites are a special thing in Solstice that are their own separate entities that persist separately from surveys. And they enable you to come back to the same site, not relying on the exact GPS coordinates, and then link the survey to that site and then ask questions like, okay, for this hospital A, how did it change between quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and so on. So we'll ask, where is the health facility? And very importantly, we choose the appropriate site type. Solstice has a great many different site types for different purposes. We choose health facility. And that means that there are a few key properties that are always there. So we have the health facility name, health facility site question. And let's just add a few more to round this off. Perhaps we want to know whether it's uh, rural, urban, or peri-urban. So we add choices to radio button question. Rural, second choice, urban, third choice, peri-urban. Wonderful. So then we get a radio button question where only one choice can be selected at a time. And then something more interesting, such as the estimated number of patients per month. And this can really be anything, whatever you need to track as part of your work in your context. And something more advanced perhaps, like columns and rows in a matrix. So I'll choose a matrix question here. 
and say healthcare facility workers. And we could say they, we want to track female and male. We don't want it to be a decimal number in this case. If we do this and save the question, we do get the female and male headers, but we don't yet have the rows of the matrix. So I will add choices here. I will say healthcare facility staff, meaning general staff, midwives, nurses, let's say, and doctors to round this off. So we get this nice table here and we can fill these values in when completing the survey. And finally, perhaps we want to track the date of the visit. Just call an, a date question. The system will track in metadata when this survey was submitted, but perhaps there was a long trip offline and the date of the visit is not the same as when the system syncs. So we have a couple of basic questions here very quickly established in Solstice in the Surveys tab in our Healthcare Facility Survey, and we are good to go. And you can change this and edit this just as you like. Now, how do we get this to our Solstice app? We need to deploy it. So I go to the Deployment tab, and there can be any number of deployments for your survey for different contexts. For example, if you're working in many districts, maybe the group of people tracking hospitals in District A is a different group from District B, so you want to manage them separately. I will deploy to specific enumerators or data collectors. We have a lot of guidance on this as well. I'm going to be managing it. This is my first district data collection deployment, and I will add myself as the enumerator. And I can do many more advanced things um, that I'm not going to cover here. But that's all I need to do to activate the survey. So how do we actually see it in the app? You can open the app in the browser by going to app.solstice.world. I'll make sure that everything has synchronized so that the survey has downloaded. And here we see the survey ready to start. I can now fill it in. I create or select an existing site this is the separate entity that's really useful for longitudinal management. It can be a public protected or private site. Protected is often best, meaning you and your organization can edit the data about that site, but others can see it as well. So the fantastic benefit is that as you do your mapping, the rest of the sector gets to see where those health facilities, clinics, and so on are. I can pick a location for it close to me here add a photo, link it to a community, add a description, basic things like that. It's basically its own simple separate thing that you can link surveys, any number of different surveys to. Visiting on the 21st of December, the winter solstice. This is a uh, rural healthcare facility with about 79, let's say 80 patients per month with um, that amount of staff. Perfect. So I filled in all the data. I submit the survey. It's now in my phone memory. And once the data upload has happened again, it will hit the Solstice servers. Has that happened? I'm jumping back to my survey here in solstice.world, where you as a manager will be able to view and tweak and respond to data coming from the field, and then start visualizing it and sharing it if you need to. So I'm going to the responses tab and I see this response has arrived. I can click into it and see that that data has come to me just as expected. Beautiful. And if I then want to start doing more stuff with that, there's a lot of things I can do. But the quickest win is to look at the visualization tab where all that information is put uh, in simple visualizations based on what the question type was. And this is going to change and evolve as more data comes through. So that's all there is to it to get started. And there's many more directions to go to. You can add SDG indicators, look at what others are collecting in terms of data, um, scale up your work to include teams and not just individual users, and much, much more. 
So thanks very much for watching. Take a look at the other videos and guides that we have to learn more and uh, subscribe to keep track of what's coming next.